Okay, for my next video, I'm going to do a Steve Good pattern because this butterfly cut, when I first saw it, really caught my eye. I'm going to do something different with it. His was larger than this. His original pattern, it's eight inches wide. I didn't have any eight inch material. I wanted to try something different with this. So I pulled this into Inkscape and resized it to six inches because I had six inch material. It's mahogany, black limba, and ash. And I'm going to layer them and cut these, and I'm going to mix and match these butterflies through that, through the three different pieces, and see what kind of effect I get. I'm going to, uh, he's, his, he had these as veins. They weren't cut all the way out, and I carried these lines around so I could mix and match them and cut them out separately. Uh, don't know how well this is going to work. This is an experiment. So first I've got to stack these pieces, uh, tape them all together, and, and get this pattern mounted and drill some holes. And won't won't be a lot of cutting. Those aren't real hard cuts to make. Uh, number five will probably do all of this. So uh, let me get it mounted up. And we'll get it to the saw and start cutting it.
Okay, I'm mixing and matching, looking at my options here. Uh, if I keep these boards together like this, then uh, what I want is I don't want a butterfly to match the board it's on. So in that case, and I've, I've tried it several ways, uh, the top, the bottom and the top butterfly are going to match from the same board in all these instances, like that's mahogany, that's mahogany, that's ash, and that's ash, or no, that's uh, the, the limba, and this is the, the, the ash right here, these top two. So, uh, I'd rather that the butterfly not match the board. Uh, I've played with it several ways, and this is kind of the way I like it. Uh, I'm going to uh, try to do it this way, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to round the edge on the board a little bit, get a little better delineation between it and the butterfly on all of these. I may not necessarily do the butterfly, but at least going to do the mounting board. That's my plan right now. Uh, so let me get me a... I got some little files and what have you and some sandpaper. I'll round those off a little bit, put them back together and see what they look like. And then I'll think about gluing them if I like it. Uh, the other option is I could use a backing board, but I don't want to use that much material. I think this is going to work. So I'm probably going to try to make these wall hangings. So anyway, the way I got to set up the top and the bottom butterfly match, but they don't match the board they're on. And I, that's what I want. I don't want the butterflies to match the board they're on. I don't know why. I just kind of feel that's the way I want it. Uh, so then you have the two matching butterflies apart from each other top to bottom. So there's a lot of different combinations, and this is the one I've liked the best that I put together. So let me start working on a little sanding and filing, and I'll say about gluing them. Okay, got them assembled, and uh, a lot of sanding and defuzzing, and I've got some clear finish on them. Uh, didn't quite, quite the contrast I'd like to have on the butterflies. Uh, I didn't really have some woods. I wanted some different woods than I have, but I just didn't have it at this point in time, and so I made do with what I had. I'm not unhappy with it. It still looks good, I think. I've got a photo there. I've got, I put some monofilament on it, hooked to the back with some tiny nails, uh, making a wall hanging out of it. I was thinking about sitting it, having a stand for it to sit on the desk, but it's pretty top heavy. It had to have a long leg at the back. And it was just getting into more material than I wanted to use for this small project. 
and it'd be big and bulky as it is. So uh, it's a wall hanging, and I have a picture there uh, of me where I took and hung it on the wall there in our kitchen. Uh, goes into the hall. I've got, got a nice bare wall I can take photos on. So anyway, this was an experiment with a Steve Good pattern. Uh, I'm going to call it a success. I know other people may not like it. It's all a matter of personal preference. But if you like that, hit the like button. And uh, if you're not subscribed, well, subscribe and uh, hit that uh, notification bell so you know when I post. Um, I'm, next, I'm going to work on a box. I'm going to make some small boxes for parts boxes and with drawers and for my shop here. And I'm going to use a different technique I've never done before. I've got a book on making boxes, and this guy made these neat little boxes. And I'm going to use the procedure to make some uh, little parts holders and uh, little, little tiny bins. Uh, so I've got lots of little small stuff. And I need to sort it out and get a little better uh, accounting of it. So that's what I'm going to experiment on the next video with doing that. That may not be a final iteration of the, uh, of the project, but I'm going to experiment with it. It's just going to be made out of three-quarter inch pine. But uh, anyway, stay tuned for that. I'll have that up here in a few days, I hope. Right now I've got to finish this one up. And I hope you like that. That's black limba, uh, mahogany, and ash. So uh, if you like that, hit the like button, like I said, and I hope to see you in the next video.